we're here with Eric from TSA. And what do you guys have going on here? Yeah, so uh, we have a great activity here for the uh, folks to look at what we're doing in the open architecture space. Uh, what, off what people are doing here is pretending like they're a transportation security officer. They're seeing exactly what our officers at the checkpoints are looking at, uh, trying to see if there's threats in the bags, and really get a feel for the pressure that an officer has to go through um, and experience. But behind the scenes is our open architecture work, where we're standardizing the data format, standardizing the interfaces, really trying to separate hardware from software so that we can gauge with all of community in developing new algorithms to improve uh, how we detect uh, threats and also really build that customer experience, uh, improving, uh, potentially allowing folks to bring more stuff in their bags, not have to the best items, just trying to figure out how do we get you through the checkpoint, get you to your flight, get you where you need to go. So it's really exciting and we've had a lot of folks here playing around, seeing what TSOs have to look for, trying to find a gun, trying to find a knife in the bags. Uh, there's a competition if in a two minute window, how many bags can you go through? How many can you identify the threat? Is it a gun? Is it a knife? And if you beat the challenge, you're a goat and you get to get a TSA uh, casino coin. So it's nice. So two quick questions. Yeah, yeah. One, no real bags, no real guns or knives that they're, they're scanning here right now. No, no, okay. no, no. And then uh, second question, you mentioned open architecture and separating some of the concerns within the system. Does that mean that uh, um, you know, it's, uh, it's that similar to open source. Uh, things are, uh, you know, shared within the community, so they can be iterated on. We want to get to that point. Um, so specifically with the data format, it's very similar to DICOM, which is in the medical industry. We call it DICOS for the security industry. But that provides that image information in an open source format, so we could put that 20,000 images out there to uh, all of industry and say, all right, here's a competition. Find this threat. And if you can develop an algorithm that does it the best, TSA will be able to provide funding, and then we can have a platform in place to deploy it, ultimately improving our security and improving customer experience for the passengers. Nice. All right, one last question. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what do you think uh, the average person walking through the airport uh, would be really interested in knowing? I, I just heard, overheard something. I want to hear what you have to say. Uh, just about going through the checkpoints. About going through the checkpoints? Checkpoints. Um, I would say, I don't know how interesting it is, but I don't know if you saw that during 4th of July, we had 3 million passengers come through the 430 plus airports that we had. Uh, and so we are at the point where we are at capacity. We're trying to find the, the ways to improve that experience, get more people through the checkpoint, make it faster. Um, so this is what this is activity is about, is really trying to improve those algorithms, benefit there, is you can bring more stuff, maybe get to that point where electronics don't need to be divested, potentially liquids coming through the checkpoint at some point, so it would be a huge opportunity for us. That sounds like a fun real world like queuing problem and systems yeah. problem too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. your time. Thanks a lot. Yep. Thanks.